What's up, DJ World? My name is Seth the Saint, and I'm a DJ. I've been DJing for over 15 years now. I know my biggest struggle has been organizing my crates. Right now, nobody can get on my computer and even attempt to figure out where the hottest songs are of any decade at this point. So a friend of mine showed me a cool and unique way of organizing my crates, and I want to share it with you all. Let's try it together. Come on, let's go organize our crates together. Come on, let's go. All right, folks, let's get into this. So as you can see, my Serato DJ Pro um, is filled with no name crates, crates that I have named after certain events, um, parties, things like that. Well, a friend of mine told me that uh, one of the easiest ways that he has been able to um, organize his music and keep up with it consistently has been based on the billboard charts. So, um, you can imagine, uh, some people I know do it by energy level or by mixing key, but you know, Serato now has this feature where you can analyze the um, song so that you already have the key functionality here. So that's easy to do if you just sort by a certain key. So really don't think you need to have crates by key when you can already do that within a particular crate. But I did like the idea of the billboard charts. So I started doing it here and I call it years. And within that, I have my different versions of the track. So like, let's say if I want to stay within the pocket of 2000s, um, I can do that here and I can get my different um, versions of that. So you can see, obviously, there is uh, some cleaning up I need to do in terms of having not having versions that are the same. Um, and this might not even be a version that I have. Oh, I do. And then this version I have... I had a crate, I mean, um, a Q marker there. So, um, I do need to clean up within the crates as well too, but really having a crate based on years would probably help at least so that you know, like depending on who's on the dance floor at the time, when you're surveying the dance floor, you're looking at, okay, so in looking at my crates, you can see that um, the best way I think we you can do it is by years. And so he said that, you know, what he does is he'll create a crate based on the decade and then the type of genre within the decade. So that also helps him because you anyone can come up to you and say, hey, can you play an 80s music set? Well, I mean, if you have an 80s music set, but you're looking at, you know, there's 80s rock, there's 80s pop, there's 80s. R&B, there's 80s hip hop, you know? So depending on who is on your dance floor, you have to do your best to assume what they would like. Um, and they may be all over the place. I'm an open format DJ. And so with uh, being an open format DJ, you know, you can jump around genres and hop around. Um, but at the end of the day, you're catering to your client, you're catering to your audience, you're, you're catering to your fans. And so you really want to ensure that you're able to jump around easily. But I think it, this will really help you at least know what pockets you want to be in, in terms of genre and in terms of year, and you will never have to search again. You could even, if you're one of those DJs who likes to break it out by region as well too, um, that would be a good way to also add in some flair. So like, if you know that you're going to have a group that's, you know, from up North, that's heavy, you know, New York hip hop or heavy New York, uh, influenced, you know, music, then you can easily pull from that bag as well too. So you can even drill down even more if you want it. So, uh, if you're not familiar with how to even create a crate, here you go. Let's get it started. So you go up to the top and you click on this box here and you will then say, start it off with um, billboard or you can call it, you know, years or whatever. I call it mine years. So you call it years or billboard and then 
what I like to do because I have so many crazy as you can see don't judge me I bring it up to the top and since this little buddy won't move up to the top I'm gonna to move this one down so I'll bring it up to the top and that way I'm closer to my all folder and that way I can easily go to my all folder click on year to sort to the year and get started in that particular year so you can create a sub crate by clicking on this tab again and it'll create one and then what you do is you'll drag it for instance if this was my sub crate I'll drag it here and it's created a sub crate within it so you can close it and it's nicely neat and tucked into that one so that's how this one is set up the years is a full crate and then you will then open it up to see all the different types of genres it is out of order as you can see but I'm a work in progress don't judge me so <laughs> here's uh, how I have it uh, listed out as you can see Billboard actually calls uh, a particular group of songs the Hot 100 if you're familiar with the Billboard charts um, the Hot 100 is just all of the hottest 100 songs uh, within the Billboard charts uh, for that particular year and so you can easily go to the Billboard site and find that information and then use that as your cheat sheet to then create your crate so um, you can do that and you can always do that I think you can go back a, a few years back or a few decades decades back excuse me so if you can't just go by you know what your your gut tells you in terms of the year looking at this information here and saying is this a hot track or is it was it like a mid-level track like something you can easily you know kind of throw in but it wasn't like the biggest banger of the year of that particular year and then you drag it in and then once you're if you see that you have a number of the same songs I tend to be a little bit of a butterfinger person so when I'm downloading some sometimes I hit it twice and so that's my my issue might not be yours but all you have to do is hit control delete if you're using an Apple device and it's gone um, and then you just make sure before you delete that song make sure make sure that you do have the version and because sometimes what can happen is if you click on it and then it turns pink which means that the song is no longer can no, can no longer be located and you'll have to go and find it within your computer system so I think this is the best way to do it um, let me know what you think in the comments um, if you have another way of doing it I would be very much so interested in learning um, and maybe we can do a video on that one as well too to see which one works better than this one. But so far, I think this really makes sense. It's gonna help me clean up all of these crazy crates that I have here for each one of my gigs. As you can see, it, I have just been moving fast. But uh, I plan on doing this and I'll probably show another video showing you the results of it and how it's been working for me with a lot of my gigs. Although my gigs are virtual now, um, I still think this will be a lot helpful to me in the gigs to come so that I can easily pull from my um, tracks and um, be a lot much more faster and intentional about where I want to go and um, the kind of experience I want to create. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to our channel here at Stage Wing. Stage Wing is a community of DJs that rent equipment from each other so if you have some equipment and you would like to make a couple extra bucks um we have a lot of great opportunities for you so go out to stagewing.com and check it out thanks so much till next time